Hey y'all, hey, I'm Stephanie. I'm Teresa. Today we're gonna show you how to make some fake bake faux cupcakes. These are gonna be spring themed. Yep, spring. Spring it themed. It could be okay. Easter. You could do any holiday. Anything, but right now, birthday. spring. But spring is in. Spring is in. Spring is the new fall. In February. That's what they say. <laughs> so <laughs> stay tuned to watch how we make these Ooh. adorable cupcakes. Ooh, let's go. Okay. Your first step is to get a can of insulated spray foam. Um, this brand is called Gaps and Cracks. Right? Is it? Gaps no, great cracks. stuff. Gaps and Cracks. And it is um, the stickiest stuff in the entire world. And you're going to want to wear gloves, but we're dumb, so we're not doing it. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it says wear protective eyewear very clearly right here, but make sure you read the, the directions. But we want to look yeah. Exactly. I hope we don't go blind. So when you first use this, this is the second time you use next. I made some ahead of time because it has to dry for 24 hours. Um, so you want to shake the crap out of it for like six minutes. And then we went ahead and lined. These are from the Dollar Tree. Don't use the ones you use every day. We're only using these for this craft because I don't crafting trust crafting things you, you should use for this. Only crafting things ever you use for just this and not food. So what we did is we cut some cardboard mm -hmm. circles. Mm -hmm. So Stephanie cut those out. Pretty easy. We did Done. it. Done. Uh, this was just a, a LaCroix box, but you ha this is not an optional step. You have to do this because when these pop up, they won't be flat. They'll be all wobbly, mm. but if you put the cardboard in the bottom, it makes it flat. So then we also are going to weigh it down. So nice. go ahead and put all these in. And I like to put the brown down. Oh, I did opposite. It's fine. It was a 50-50 Only chance. because you can kind of see through the paper a little bit. Uh, oh, okay, and we flip it okay. over, you don't. And there's well, color I, on it. I did one with like a car sales ad or something one time. It was intense. Um, you get your change out, and I used all my pennies and nickels yesterday, so we're gonna use quarters. <laughs> Ooh, these are expensive. Oh, these going so we'll on. Have to, we'll have to add that quarter in to our total. Yeah, just to weigh it down. It. I know it doesn't seem like it does much. It does. So see how these are kind of wrinkly. You want all those pushed out because when we spray it, it that's it. It's done. Okay, so ready to spray? I'm gonna spray the first one, Stephanie, and I'm gonna teach you how to do it. Okay, let's see how this works. Second day. Okay, it's not too bad. So I'm gonna circle. We might have to stand up to do this. Circle it, and then try not to go more than that, and try not to. Less is more. <gasps> there we go. Try not to touch it too much, because that's what I did on these, and. That's how big they got. They didn't, yeah, that's how big they get, but I tried to like smooth it out some. It didn't work out great because it made like the surface of the moon craters, but this one I just sprayed it and forgot about it. But I would say, yeah, get the corners just just so your cardboard sticks to it too. It's hard, isn't it? It is. But it's fun as crap, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Do you want to stand up? Maybe standing up. Yeah, stand yeah. up does help. Do it to it, Lars. Oh, it's so fast. I feel like that was your best one. Well, I I until the end. Fourth. Well, it gets a little wonky at the end. It does get a little wonky, but this will kind of smooth out other than, like I was saying, if you, the less you touch it, the better the surface is. Yeah. And different brands are, are different. Like this brand isn't as smooth as other ones I've used before. Um, but we're going to paint it anyway. And you can always just snip off the, these, but you're, it's you can even like file, file it down with like a sandpaper yep, or something. Yep. Wow. That was country. That was country, <laughs> AAF. So we're going to set these aside because they have to cure for 24 hours. Ooh. So we made some ahead of time. So what we did is we uh, went ahead and I ripped off some of the protuberances. <laughs> like I said, you're going to icing it. It doesn't matter, but it bothers me sometimes. And then just paint your cupcake with craft paint. So we made what we thought looked like vanilla. But if you want it to look more like a cooked cake, and you can it use. It looks a little, it, yeah. So paint this color first and then go over it with a dry brush. Uh-huh. With specifically Anita's. Anita's is the cheapest. She's the only girl I get. Uh, <laughs> but Moccasin Brown is the color for this. And you can get it from Hobby Lobby for like, I'm going to say like 74 cents. It's less than a dollar. It's a darn good deal. So Okay, so what we're going to do is, these are done. They are light as a feather. But you can Stiff tell as a board. those coins are in there, so it's very stable on the bottom. Um, we're going to put a very light icing on top. Our icing is going to be made out of lightweight spackle these came from the Dollar Tree um they're a little old I got them like three years ago so I went ahead and mixed this one up um just ahead of time because it takes forever and it'll dry white no it tries no this isn't the pink one I mean oh. I put pink paint in there oh never <laughs> it's mind it's not the fancy it's no I'll show don't you don't listen like. to me 
Here's what it looks like brand new out of the container. Oh, okay. <laughs> I put it's a little, dry. little razzmatazz on it. Um, but yeah, it's just white spackle and it's very lightweight. Um, this whole thing weighs four ounces. It's very light. So oh, even I with the it. white, okay. what we're going to do is, huh? I get it now. Uh, yeah. I know why it's pink now. Okay. Because I added pink <laughs> paint. I you add, so I you can it. make it any color you want to, and I suggest coloring it before you paint it. I guess you could always color it after, but we're going to color before. So this one, we're just going to make white. Just like icing. You color it before you put on the cupcake. Exactly. It makes sense. So I'm going to let you, I'm going to show you how to do it, and I'm going to let you. Or do you know what? Just frost it like you would a cupcake. Okay. Ready to go. Well, normally I do the squirts. Yeah. The squirts. <laughs> yeah, that's accurate. Yeah, Stephanie gets the squirts. While she does that, I'm going to just put some white. Squirty, squirty. Paint in here just to make it more pliable too because it's kind of to be like pretty? it's a little dry. Yeah, hold it over the. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't stick super well. So you do see it. Yeah, it it's off. almost like yeah a butter consistency rather than like an actual icing, which is yeah. funny. But it doesn't. It's stick. not going to be smooth when you do it this way. It's going to look very rustic. So there's another way to do it, and that's what I'm going to do here in just a second. Um, what you can do is you can add more water. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add some water to it. So there's no like. Rhyme or reason amount. It's just whatever feels right to me. Add more water. Yeah. And then just <laughs> mix her on up. This is going to be very rustic. It's just to show you the consistency when you're mixing it. You're going to be like, this is wrong. But here it is. You can also, if it gets too thin, you can add cornstarch to it to thicken it back up. Mm, that's fun. Okay. Is that rustic enough? Still for you? mixing. You missed a spot. It's so hard. Try, try not to get it on. Oh, you don't have to cover the whole thing. You can actually want to see some cupcake. Oh. It's okay. Stephanie's learning here. This I is am. this is crafting with your son Stephanie. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do with this one. Oh, this is much smoother. It is a lot smoother, yeah. So you can add more. Um <laughs> I'm like, it's so much smoother and just clops back in there. Alright, so I got this tip. The tip we're using today is uh oh. It's a figured out. <laughs> this tip does not have a number on it, but it's a big one. Like it's it's too big to use with a coupler, or at least the coupler. On it. So we're gonna put it in our bag. Um, this is easier if you use a big popsicle stick like Stephanie has or a tongue depressor. Um, but I I didn't bring the other one down because I'm stupid. So we're just gonna use the paintbrush. <laughs> Do you love it? Look how yes. cute. I actually really enjoy the lighter cupcake color. With I that. do too. It's like a white cake. That one wasn't painted yet, was it? No. <laughs> but I thought you would left it. I was like gonna an example. Nope, 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 it's okay. But you know what? I really like that color. So <laughs> there you that that worked out, Steph. Should, do I need to do another one? Can you hold this tag on yeah. time? You're struggling, aren't you? Yes, I don't have a cup to put it in. Oh yeah. Get all this into your bag. Mm. If you don't have a Stephanie to hold your bag. You Get can a cup. Set it in a cup. Yeah. This is a lot of annoyance to do it this way, but it's so satisfying and so cute. And these last forever. Woohoo! But make sure you, if you have children, dear God, put them somewhere where they're not going to touch them. Because even if you say, this is poison, they're going to be like, my mom's a liar. Yeah, yeah. they're going to think it's something that they can put in their mouth. Exactly. Well, literally everything they're like, mouth or ear or nose. Exactly. <laughs> Ear. Hi. <laughs> well, I should have added more water. Dang, dang, dang. You want me to do it? Oh, you but, got it. You know what? You're strong on plow. Just do a circle. But if it's too hard to pipe, that means you need more water. We watered it down a little bit. It's looking a little liquidy. <laughs> it did. It got liquidy there for a second. But it was so thick a second ago. That's what she said. Dang it. <laughs> what happened? I don't want It's no. like a chemical reaction. It touches the bag and it's like, no. Not gonna work. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, now you're gonna try to pipe on a cupcake just like you would icing. Is it squeezable? I think so. Okay. Let's get some stuff out of the way. Alrighty. Hang on, let me get your garbage out of the way. Okay. Circles. <gasps> Yay! Yay! <laughs> oh. There it's we okay. go. It's okay, we'll show this side. <laughs> right? <laughs> There's always gonna be an ugly side and a pretty side. I think it's perfect. It's beautiful. It's perfect as it can be. All right, I'll actually fix this. You wanna do another one? Yeah. <gasps> so fetch. Um, the thing with these is also try to cover your craters. Oh um, yeah. Which oh, we, we did yeah. a good job. Oh yeah. On top of this, 
Sure, make make whipped cream. So cute. You can do that one too. Why not? Um, so when you're done with these, while they're still wet, you can put in some decorations. So we have some little eggs that we painted to look like Robin's eggs. Uh, what else can you put for Easter? Easter's uh, our next jelly holiday. beans. Yeah, I would do fake jelly beans. Mm -hmm. So you can make them out of like resin or clay. Mm -hmm. Little bunny molds. Chocolate bunnies. So while they're wet, like we said, we're going to put some decorations in. So do you want to put some cherries yes. on your whipped cream maybe? And then the eggs, I put Mod Podge on them so they're not all the way dry yet. So that's why there's a weird Saturn like ring around it. It's okay. They'll dry at the same time as the cupcake. So we're making these kind of Easter eggs. I'm just going to set that on the cupcake. And we have flowers too. I also have little gumdrops that I made. I love these cherries. Those they're cherries. so cute. They're so precious, aren't they? This cupcake wants two eggs. So maybe one laying down. If that's not cute, I apologize. We'll do the pink one with gumdrops. So these are just made out of clay and then the glitter is like a clear glass glitter. And they're little Easter colors. Oh, you know what else you could do is you could take the, the picks that you would put in cupcakes anyway for Easter, like the ones they like he is resin or like the little bunnies, the little paper uh -huh. picks with the toothpicks in them. That'd be really cute. You could just take those in. Good job. Oh no, you see the we have a solution for that. <laughs> what is it? You see the little hole at the bottom? Oh. I still have some paint. Oh no, is it dried out part? No, it's not. You see the butthole of the egg. I see the little egg butthole. Oh no. <laughs> uh huh, just like that. Mm -hmm, magic. What did you do? I tried to paint. <laughs> <laughs> and that looks like googly eyes. Well, maybe you can get like a small brush and put a little bit of clay in there. And then. There you go, it. caulk. Yes, I'm going to let that dry and paint at 70 years old. Smart. Look at you with crafting. I do things sometimes. You always come in clutch when it comes to like fixing stuff. So this one also must have a, a bee hole. Okay, the icing or the caulk yes. was a little watery. because It was a little bit mm -hmm. too watery. So just make it thicker. Yeah. We're good. We're done. Yep. And you all can do these for any occasion. Like I said, these are just for Easter. It looks like Google Eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Here, give, it give it a... There we go. Give it a gum drop. Make it a nose. <laughs> Good. Gum drop nose. Now it's a face again. It's fine. It's okay. Um, but you can do whatever you want for your content. You can do, I have some really cute Halloween ones. We can, we'll do a video on that for Halloween. Um, yeah, any occasion. So if y'all have any questions, let us know down below. Everything we used was super cheap. The spray foam again, mm -hmm. about $5. The caulk, I got it before Dollar Tree went to $1.25. So I'm calling so it a dollar. Mm -hmm. We did put quarters in the bottom of all these. And then the cupcake wrappers were maybe a dollar, I think, for a hundred. Yeah, they're really not that expensive at all. So. so you can make these for craft shows. You can make them just for you, for your desk at work. You can give away. Mm -hmm. You could probably make these into a garland. I love making things into garlands. That would be so cute. <laughs> Wouldn't it be cute? Yeah, do a garland of cupcakes. I love it. So, all right. Until next time, y'all. Bye. Bye.